Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is going to be perfect for Thanksgiving and the holidays with gold on the lid and a warm crease. So if you want to see how I got this look, please keep watching. And stay tuned to the end to see my outfit as well. So to start off, I already have my eyebrows done and I use Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel in chocolate and Anastasia Brow Wiz in dark brown. Next, I'm going to prime my face using the Smashbox Photo Finish Priming Water and the Becca Backlight Primer. Next we're going to move right into the face and I'm using Becca's Radiant Skin Foundation and it's a satin finish and the color I'm in is Noisette. And I'm just going to blend this out with a beauty blender as usual. And then right after that I'm going to move into concealer. So I'm using Urban Decay's Naked Skin Concealer. Um, I hauled this um, during the Sephora VIB sale and so far I really like it. Let me know if you guys really like it as well. So I'm just applying this under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, on my forehead, any place that I want to highlight and bring forward on the face. And I'm also using this to cover my dark circles as well. Setting this concealer with the Smashbox highlight powder as usual, just any powder, yellow powder will do. And then I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent um, setting powder as well and I'm gonna put this under my eyes but as well as the rest of my face just a light dusting it's gonna help everything else um, on our face blend out a lot easier and then I'm gonna go ahead and contour using the Kevin Kwan sculpting powder and I'm just speeding through this because you guys have seen me contour a few times I'm just gonna contour my cheekbones, the temples on my forehead, a little bit on my nose, and my jawline. Next, I'm just gonna bronze my face um, using Too Faced's Beach Bunny. And I'm just going to go right over the places we contoured to help blend it out and to add some warmth as well. Next, I decided to highlight my face before blush for whatever reason. And I'm using Laura, Gilded's, Laura Geller's Gilded Honey. Oh. Talking is not easy for me sometimes. <laughs> and I'm using the Makeup Geek um, stippling or cheek highlighting brush for this as well. And just the normal places I highlight. And I use my finger to go along my cupid's bow. It makes it a lot more precise. Then I'm moving into blush and I'm going to use Prim from the Tarte Holiday palette. And I really like this blush set so far. So I'll definitely continue to keep you guys updated and I'm using the Makeup Geek Rounded Blush Brush as per usual. And then I'm just going to blend everything out also as per usual. Next I'm going to go straight into the eyes. So I'm going to, I've already primed my eyes with Max Painterly Paint Pot and set them with the Shadow Undress from the Lorac Gold palette. Now we're going to go into Morocco and any fluffy blending brush, I'm using the Luxie brush, I'll have the specific name down below. And I'm just going to blend this all in my crease um, and blending it until I can't blend anymore. And I'm focusing um, most of the color on the outside as well and just blending it softly into the inner corner. Mm -hmm. 
Next, we're going to go into Fudge, also from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow Couture Palette. And I'm using a MAC 217 and focusing this right in my crease. So we're trying to darken this crease up to give us some depth, but staying below our transition shade at the same time blending into our transition shade. So just work at this until you're comfortable with the blending and until you have no harsh lines, of course. Next, we're gonna go into this shadow from the Lorac Gold Palette. And we're just gonna pack this on our lid. I'm using um, a MAC brush to do this, but you can use any flat shader brush that you have. And then go back into Fudge and then MAC 217 and just blend that out. And I decided that I wanted more gold. So what I did is I used MAC Prep and Par Prep and Prime Fix Plus um, and sprayed my brush and went back into the Lorac shadow. And you can also use eye drops as well for this if you don't have MAC Fix Plus. It just intensifies the gold. Then we're going to go into Unedited, which is the deep brown shade in the Lorac Gold palette, and just a very small uh, tapered crease brush. And we're just going to focus this color right on our outer V so that we can create some depth. And then we're going to go back into the color we used to set our shadow originally. And I'm going to highlight my brow bone with this even though it is a matte shade. And then I'm going to clean up the edges with this as well. It's a great shadow to do that. So next for the under eyes, we're going to go into Morocco and Fudge and also ColourPop's Game Face. And we're going to pop that right on our lower lash line. So next I went off camera and added some eyeliner and some false lashes. And I didn't wing it out this time. Can you guys believe it? <laughs> so now I'm going to go in and I'm going to add mascara to blend my natural lashes with my false lashes. And of course put some on the bottom lashes as well. And then I'm going to go and do my lips. So I gave you guys two lip options. The first is ColourPop's lip, Lippy Pencil in Skimpy. And then I went over that with the NARS Audacious Lipstick in Raquel. It's a beautiful nude. I love these lipsticks. They are so worth it. All you need is just one swipe and they go on amazing. And they last a really long time too. You guys like my robe in the background? I wasn't feeling very good today. Oh. So for the second lip option, we are going to go into Ofra's Liquid Lipstick in Miami Fever. Guys, I am sorry. I just cannot get enough of this color. It is so perfect for this time of year. So to finish off this look, I used Urban Decay's All Nighter Setting Spray.
that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this look um all of the jewelry i'm wearing is from charlotte russe as well as the boots the scarf that i'll be wearing is from wantable and my dress is from forever 21 so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next one bye guys Thank you.